I want to give credit to where I got this information from. And I also want to talk about where I believe this all stemmed from. Why J. Cole came out with the whole Port Antonio. And being that I just found out this information from this other YouTuber, it's crazy because I was going to put out my video on why I believe J. Cole put out the song Port Antonio. This guy pretty much confirmed what I'm now finding out, but I already knew. All right, let me get to it. Here is why J. Cole put out the Port Antonio, in my opinion. Check this clip out. Thank you. Yeah. Um, listen, I'm going to tell you one thing about nostalgia. One thing about nostalgia, this party here. My real friends are definitely in the building. But I'm going to tell you, you're going to come to a point in life where people you thought were friends or people you thought were close to you, they might switch up. They might try and move funny with you. They might stab you in the back. They might do a lot of things to you. You'll come to that realization. Wherever you're at in life, you've probably been there and you'll be there again. That's how life is. But look, sometimes it's you and you alone by yourself. Sometimes it's you alone with your thoughts. Sometimes, you, you know what? Play this song. There you have it. That was recently that Drake did that. Those are my thoughts on it. And then we're hearing through the whispers that Drake is not answering J. Cole's phone call. Says Maul from the Rory and Maul because Maul is connected to Drake, allegedly. Now, that's one. Two, shout out to the YouTuber Charles Brown. I don't know if I said his name right. I just saw one of his videos. I'm not sure if you know, he got this from somebody or he got it from himself. But if he did, shout out to him either way. But he pointed out that that picture, the thumbnail of the song, well, we don't call it thumbnail when it's music. It's a song cover. When you do YouTube, it's a thumbnail, meaning like you're a blogger. The song cover that J. Cole used is really J. Cole and Drake in Jamaica when they were on good terms I suppose hence why it's called Port Antonio because that's in Jamaica now it all makes sense now it's all coming together which I knew that this was pretty much like an open letter to Drake really you know and he's really trying to show him like bro I still rock with you why won't you pick up the phone in other words he didn't say that part but that's pretty much what it is and he's hoping that now Drake will be like, okay, I want to hear what you got to say, bro. But we, could, but listen, you got to look at it like this. If we all homeboys, right, and them two get into it, now you either have to pick a side or you try to break it up, and if you can't, you got to let them rock out. Drake <laughs> has every right to feel the way he feel towards J. Cole right now. Because, excuse me, J. Cole pretty much ran out on him while Drake was getting jumped. Because it wasn't just Kendrick Lamar coming at him. It was Kendrick Lamar. It was Rick Ross. It was Future. It was all these guys coming at him. All these guys was coming at Drake. The media. Kendrick Lamar's fans. And J. Cole was nowhere to be found. So why would Drake want to answer your calls? Why? Now you want to big him up. But when he was in the heat of this battle... When the war was on, why didn't you put this out then? You see, this is why a lot of people are angry at J. Cole, who are, or was once fans of this guy. That's all I have to, for, you know, that's all I have for y'all for right now. Uh, yeah. Your boy Donnie.